fuck swat. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn field. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deal. We been trapping like the 80s. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Grass in Class. And on this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this tent. Uh, by the way, it's a 3 by 4 tent. It's not that big. And I have five ladies in here. There's two Blackberry uh, Kush. There's one Miracle Whip. One Cinderella 99. And then over here on the front, it's a Blue Diesel. And as far as lights, I am using the Electric Sky ES180 V2 from the Green Sunshine Company. And guys, flowering is something I look forward to the most. But before I switch to flower, there's a couple of things I like to do. And there's also a couple of things that I stop doing. And I like to go ahead and start by removing all of the bottom nodes that are not going to make it to the top. Now, since I only have a small amount of those nodes that I have to remove, it is easy for me to flip into flower right away and remove those nodes without shocking the plant. However, if you are defoliating more than 30% of the plant, do give the plant at least two weeks to recover and bounce back before flipping into flower. And guys, right now would be the perfect time to go ahead and do a a foliar spray if you wanted to or if you have any deficiencies or any pest or bug problems right now would also be the time to do it even though technically you have up to wheat to a flower to spray your plants and take care of any problems and if you're interested in knowing what kind of products I use for pest prevention and foliar feeding, I will be naming them on my description as well as the lights and links for other products that I use for my grow. And I'm also hanging up the second trellis net right now with some zip ties so that way I could adjust it up or down as the plant stretches into the transition to flower. Since they are not all the same strain, some will stretch more than others. By having an adjustable trellis net, I'm able to meet their needs a little bit better. I'm always flexing. Yeah. I'm always flexing. Yo bitch always testing. Pull up on your block with a fucking Smith and Wesson. Why you testing me? Yo bitch, she stressing me. Why she texting me? She gon' get the rest of me. And I'm whipping with that potion. I'm potent, it's potent. Bitch, you know I'm totin'. Now, when it comes to watering, I only up my PPM after my transitioning week, which is the first seven days of my light switch to 1212. Now, my watering and my PPM for my transitioning week is usually from 500 to 850 PPM. After that, which will be my first week of flower, that's when I start to up my PPM and nutrient intake. So now that these girls are up to my standards, we can go ahead and get them ready for flowering. All we have to do is just put the timer 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and within 7 days they'll have transition into flower. Be sure to check in next weekend for we are gonna have an update on this girls and much more. And also just go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead, you made it this far. Come on, just click it, click it. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope this year brings nothing but prosperity to all of you, my brothers and sisters out there. <laughs>